Hey everybody, Hijack here, and welcome to another weekly World of Tanks replay. Today I'm showing you my P-44 Pantera on the map Studzianki. Or as we like to call it, the Burnt Biome one. Uh, anyways, this tank has a 3-shell auto-reloader once you've fully got the turret upgraded, which allows you, just like the Progetto, to shoot more, up to 3 shots at a time, one after the other. But the benefit of this tank is that the... Each progressive shell in the chamber gets a faster and faster reload. So the, if you fire all three shells, that first shell is going to take the longest to load in, and then the second one gets a little bit faster, and then the third one gets a little bit faster. Now on this map, we were on the right side spawn. I paused there on the tracks, as you saw a few seconds ago. Usually one of my favorite spots to sit, but we had nobody going to the A6 hill in the north, the A5-6 hill, so I decided to do the job of a light tank and head over there to spot some stuff and of course we've got some early shots there on the TS5 we got one shot two shot and I'm gonna fire the third shot here and it's gonna go wild because well you know why not I'm gonna I'm gonna have time to reload there doesn't be anybody over here now there's no cover on this side of the hill or the other side for that matter so I am susceptible to artillery shells which is why I'm continuously moving a little bit, adjusting my positions here, there, and that is why that artillery shell landed just behind my tank, causing only 57 points of damage and stunning my crew. Now we did have the bat chat 12 ton come over to help us spot over on the side, which is great, but it's just me and him over here, and that's it. I like this spot personally because you can shoot a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of good fighting takes place in the factory at the C56 area there. As you can see where we've got all our heavy tanks and the enemy team has a couple of heavies and a tank destroyer. So this is a good spot to kind of press on them, get some nice sniping shots into their sides while they're dealing with their heavies. And the VK7501 does go down. I peeked out around the corner thinking I could get some spots on somebody and there was nobody there. So I'm thinking it's maybe time to push up the hill. I uh, I think the bat chat was sort of thinking the same thing. Now there's some nice bushes up top here which you can use for cover to help prevent your sh your tank from getting spotted. And I'm going to try and use my view range in place here, but that's not going to quite get it. But the bat chat 12 ton has read my mind and he's going to go on in and get some spotting for us so we have stuff to shoot. And what do we spot? A J Panther 2 running away. So I've got one shot, two shots into the backside of him, and I decided to take the third shot. Why not? And it goes in, leaving him on 122 hit points. There we go. 1,284 damage right off the bat there. And that was great. The bat chat spots the 28, T28 prototype. And I'm reloading, so I'm waiting for my three shells to go in before I fire again. So that way I'm at my peak capacity. Now, if you continuously fire only two shells in this tank, you will have the peak capacity of your damage per minute in the game. But sometimes firing that third shell is just that little bit of extra damage that you might want and sometimes you takes out a tank so there we go so i'm going to stop on the side of the hill and take a shot at the wall to knock that down so then i can shoot at the amx ball amx 50 sorry second shot from the clip hits the truck or the empty tank wreck that's there and the third shot goes into his side of his turret so now i'm on the long reload is what as i call it once again i decided to take a sneaky third shot at the AMX, taking him down to 84 hit points, and then he gets removed. I'm all in it for the damage. Panzer 58 Mutz gets spotted just on the other side of the railroad tracks, and I can get a somewhat of a silhouette on him, but now I'm waiting for my reload, so I'm going to hold off firing. Hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off. Gotta wait for that third shot, and I fire once, and I fire twice. And I'm looking like I'm going to fire the third shot, but he goes dark, so I take the blind shot and fade back to go on the long reload. Now, artillery gets spotted on the enemy team. I'm loading my first shell in, and I take it because he was dead anyways, so I might as well farm 263 hit points of damage out of him before somebody else destroys him. And I'm looking for the silhouette on that mutts. First shell is loaded. Loading the second one now. And yeah, he's moved off. So he's moved outside my view range, or my draw range. That yellow circle you see on the map is your draw range. Tanks that are beyond that will not be rendered on your screen. So I move up to get some of those tanks in my draw range, and there's a Scorpion G. Sorry, a Scorpion. Two shots. He goes dark. Third shot goes in. Don't know if it 
damaged him or anything like that. Now, he went dark because he moved out of my spotting range and he was no longer spotted by anybody else. And But he was still within my draw range. You gotta pay attention. So, the yellow circle is my draw range, the white circle is the maximum view range of my tank, and the green line is currently what my view range is with my crew and skills and equipment loaded on the tank. So as you can see, there's a bit of a gap between the white and the green, but not that much. On some tanks, you'll max out your green to the white, and then some, which you can't go higher than the white ones, the white line, but you can't, any higher spotting range actually increases your ability to detect things within your spot range. So I take two shots on the M48 Rompanzer, the new tank they put in the game. It has a big little steel shovel on the front, or bulldozer blade. Fire two and wait for the reload, because there's no point in wasting my third shot and getting on a long reload. As we're getting towards the end of the match, team's up 9-6. to six. Rum Pounds are still spotted, so I put another shot in him. And I put two shots, and he's now ready for a kill shot, and it bounces, of course, right? Armor not penetrated, he turned his tank, got that angle on me, which prevented my shell from taking him out of the game. And he moves out of my draw range again, so I gotta move up. And we're down to 9-7, so it's a close match now. Well, I'm feeling fairly confident we've got this in the bags, but I'm still going to play a little bit cautiously. I'm going to keep this bush and this tree in front of my tank so I don't possibly get spotted, and use this little depression here to keep my tank somewhat hidden from view. Just looking for the great gun depression angle and trying to find that those other two tanks. But I spotted we spotted WZ-132 who spots me. I put one shot into him, somebody else puts a shot, and then I take him out with the kill shot. I also got spotting damage on that one, so I must have been the one that was spotted him. The Rampanzer gets spotted once again. And so we're going to wait for our shells to load. I've got no shot on him, so it's time to move off. Scorpion pops out again, and he's only at 15, 23 hit points, so I must have did hit him with the blind shot. And take him out of the game again. Yeah, T-54 Mod 1 gets is spotted. I got a silhouette, but my shot misses wildly and is no good. So at this point I'm at 4,035 damage and 2 kills, so I'm feeling quite good right now. I tried a shot on the Rompanzer, he gets taken up by artillery. Or sorry, he gets taken up by the, the, the oh yeah, artillery, and the T-28 took out the Mod 1, and that was the end of the game right then and there. So in the end, that was Mastery Badge second class with Fire for Effect. So in the end, that gave me a high caliber for the 4,275 damage and Confederate. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Hope to see you again next week. Thanks again.